Well, hello and welcome back. It's Kim with The Medium That Rocks. And it's been a while, but I want to thank, first of all, everyone who leaves comments. Um, I have been neglecting you, and I'm really sorry. Um, I've been really busy. I'm moving into a new space here, and as you may see from the background, I'm going to change things around because that's what I do. Um, I don't know if things will ever be the same. I like things to change up a lot. So... I hope um, you enjoy some of the backdrops that you will see as I get comfortable in this space and move around and see what works best. So um, I am in my office slash den and uh, I do have a lot of cards behind me available to pull at any moment if I feel like that's something that we need to do on talking. But today what I'm going to do is I want to share with you a recent reading. Um, this was one I did this year back in March. And um, this is for a client of mine who is a regular client. And this was a pretty powerful reading. I thought it would give you an example of what my readings can be like. Of course, none of them are the same. They are all unique, just like the people that are getting read for. So what I do first is all of these readings are done via email. So my client will book a reading with me. Um, and once we set up the time and the date, Mainly, I give them a time frame of a day. Um, depending on how busy I am, it might be up to three days. But um, I would then sit at the designated time. And basically, I, for me, it's no different than if I'm sitting in front of the person. I sit in front of my computer and I protect myself. I surround myself with white light. I type what I'm doing as well as as I'm doing it so the person that's receiving this information can read along and be part of the experience. Um, so they become part of the experience. I surround them with white light. I have them envision it. I have them breathe it in. Um, and these readings are not only me doing mental mediumship, which is tapping into what I am being told clairaudiently or clairvoyantly and then conveying the message. But um, it also is kind of a, it, it's a cooperative process where the entities, the guides, the angels, the spirits, the loved ones in spirit basically guide me as well and um, I don't know until I'm in the process what I will be guided to do. So um, that leads me to the Beyond Quantum readings, which are a little bit different than the healings. Healings, a client has to go into a form of hypnosis, um, which is a heavy word. It's not what we think of when we think of hypnosis. It's more of a meditative um, regression. But as far as a quantum reading, which I have been doing, the person doesn't need to do that at all. They can be completely lucid. They are just reading an email. Um, they are reading what I sent to them and they can be as interactive as they want. What they can also do is they don't have to follow the instructions the very first time they read it. They may decide, I don't really want to do that right now. I want to read the information. I want to let that settle. And then perhaps I will do these exercises that have been recommended by my guides the next time I read it or at a later date. Another thing that can be done is you can decide to do those exercises as often as you want. Um, I don't think spirit will give you more than you can handle. So I hope that explains what I do. Um, I'm going to read this reading and give you an idea 
of what a reading can be like. Um, I'm going to change the name to protect my client's privacy, um, but please know that this is pretty much word for word. And when I get readings, when I get the information, I do not edit it um, only for spelling and I do not put my own spin on anything. I allow what's coming through to be the exact wordage that's coming through because I don't know what's going to really resonate with my client. They do. So I step away from that process and I just allow what comes, what flows to flow. So I'm going to read this. Um, many of my readings are bought for people for their birthday. Um, and I really love this. I actually have two families um, that have me give readings for their family members every year on their birthdays. And I think that's a wonderful thing. Um, because my readings are emailed readings, one family prints those readings and puts them in an album. And I think that is wonderful because every year you can go back and you can look at the progress and see um, what has happened. I highly recommend going back and reading, rereading your readings. And to actually have them printed and in front of you in a book is a wonderful thing. I think that's something that's a wonderful idea. So with that said, I'm going to read this. I don't want this to be too long. So this was a birthday reading. Um, it was a gift. And so I'm just going to read it as I gave it. Happy birthday. At this time, close your eyes with me and take in a nice deep breath. As you breathe in, imagine the breath coming in as white light. The light is cleansing, renewing, revitalizing, and regenerating. Through this light, we are healed, cleansed, and all negativity is released. See the light come into your body as you breathe out. See the light move throughout your entire body and notice where the areas of darkness or areas that you seem stuck or blocked. Focus on these areas and send this light. See these areas now get flushed with light. See the light unblock and push all that is not of the light down and out through the bottoms of your feet and back into the Mother Earth. Here it all dissolves into her loving body. So continue to do this until we see your entire body full of light and only light. Breathe in until this body glows with health and vibrancy. Do this whenever you feel sad, tense, or just on a regular basis to scan and check what is up with your body on all levels, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. There are many things that we can do to help our spiritual health. This is just a simple visualization that can be used anywhere, anytime, and without any cost. And they tell me to do this each morning upon awakening and each night before sleep. You can and should continue with your daily rituals, prayers, and meditations. I do not know if you have recently started a new meditation practice, but they are pointing to this. I hear chanting music in the background. They tell me breath work and movement. Oh, like chai. Energy that flows in every living and in nature. In Chinese tradition, good flowing of chai makes you healthy. Or is it chi? Chi, not chai. Chai is tea. <laughs> okay. Like I said, I don't edit. I just type it. Um, when you are sick, some paths flow of chi may be obstructed, which can be cured. So chi can again flow normally using acupuncture. However, too much flow of chi is not good, like hurricane that can root up houses. So I feel that energy work, such as movement with breath that connects you to your higher self, the divine in your body together, much like yoga, but less strenuous. This is not about physical exercise. This is about mental and emotional well-being. So when pondering which cards to use, I want to focus on your questions and give you something to look at throughout the year. So this was a reading 
this particular person lost the love of her life and she wanted to connect with him um she was trying to she's trying to still run her family and her household on her own now and so she wanted that but she also wanted a projection as to what's going on for the year so i pulled some cards um each of these cards i use are themes with herbs and flowers and i'm calling upon the oracles and tarot to bring forward that which is most needed for you to hear today and which you can refer to in the days and weeks to come with reflection and clarity. So the first card I got, I pulled from Vintage Wisdom and it was Playfulness. And I'm not going to go into everything because I basically read the card. But um, the key line was we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. And the next one was Botanical Inspirations. And the card that came up was Sweet William. And William is the name of her partner who passed. So, um, Sweet William, grant me a single smile. Sweet William may have been taken its name from Old English Romantic Ballad of Sweet William, the gallant sailor who pledged his faithful love to Black Eyed Susan. These two wildflowers are often found together, always blooming at the same time. Others believe that the flower's moniker was actually inspired by William Shakespeare. The Victorians, the fragrant flower, fragrant flower, carried the message to the recipient, grant me a single smile. The tiny tufts of sweet William flowers invite you to come closer and allow yourself to fall under their spell as you gaze into their eyes. The inspirational message the most attractive thing you can put on each day is your smile. Your smile will attract more positive energy from others around you. Be the reason someone smiles today. So this meant a lot to my client um, because she hasn't been smiling. She's been missing her partner and um, she felt like this was a direct message from him. So sometimes I get direct messages from spirit usually i do but sometimes they also come through through the cards you know they they know how to do it um i don't doubt how they they do it i just allow it to happen the next card that came up was chance um this was from the flowers of the night oracle and um again i'm gonna kind of just cut it short um Trust in the cycles and rhythms of life. This could be an ending, but also a beginning. And if you find yourself stagnant, perhaps you need to turn the wheel again of letting go or unblocking what it is that is holding you back. Chance comes to those playing the game who are open to all possibilities and who trust that they deserve to win. Perhaps there is a need to change your tactics to withdraw a little and see the big picture. From this viewpoint, new possibilities should be clear a reward for effort is shown and the completion of a project or goal. But be wary of resistance from outside influences. Keep going. Things might not be smooth, but they are turning your way eventually. The affirmation, I embrace the patterns and cycles of my life. The keywords, chance, reward, progress, completion, resistance, and difficulty. And then what I did was her yearly spread. And this was a large 10 card spread using the spirit of herbs. And of course, I'm not going to get into this because it's very, very large. Um, but what I did was I did highlight some things. So we have confidence. Self-confidence, self-worth, confidence, following one's inspiration and action. <clears throat> with self-confidence and inner mastery, I move forward with my choices in life. Crossing the card, we had <clears throat> challenge, competition, standing up for one's belief and inner strength. <clears throat> Affirmation, I have within me the capacity to rise to any challenge and surmount any obstacle. Below, we have... I open my heart to the channel of wisdom within. In the past, 
Not all things are being revealed. Need to be honest with self and others. Research needed in order to find out what's going on. With a peaceful heart, I gather information and truth for my plans and goals. What is above? Enjoy the harvest. Tendency to be greedy. Need to be open to abundance. I am open to abundance that my labor and talents provide. Future. A no-win situation, being in competition with another, letting go of the need to be right. <clears throat> Let go of my judgments and allow love to be my guide. Then we have, what is fire? <clears throat> I did the elements. Sensuality, feminine warmth, warmth, inner poise and command, potency, getting in touch with the child within. <clears throat> Water. Being prepared, learning and creating with your skills, being orderly with your time and space, keeping books balanced. I work in a meditative and steady way in order to create the results that I desire. And then what are we thinking about? Youthful enthusiasm in the pursuit of new relationships, sexual interests and desires, jumping into situations without being responsible for one's actions, feelings or emotional obsession, or dependency toward another. I am open to new relationships. And what's manifesting? Power, organization, divine reason, protection, achievement, difficulty taking in things or ideas, <clears throat> the male within, putting order in your life, being too rigid and fixed, bringing to light one's creations. Affirmation. I use my inner wisdom and strength to achieve my goals in life. So <clears throat> with this reading, I recommended using the above affirmations and even to print them <clears throat> because these cards are um, herbal cards. I also suggested that she may want to use the herbs in whatever way she feels um, appropriate. <clears throat> um, the main message for this was to be playful. Of course, with a card reading, there's so much depth there. Um, I am going to read her response back to me because I think that's the most fun. So she wrote, wow, that's a lot. I'm going to need to read, reread, read a third, fourth, and fifth time to let it all sink in. I find that Sweet William reference heartwarming as my mother called him William, the pet name that they are both in spirit. The other thing that jumped out is being open to new love. I sort of have an opportunity and have had the possibility heavily on my mind. Does that card mean being open to love in general or does spirit say that more specifically? I shall ponder this reading and will take my time digesting it. I feel that it is a little involved to understand with one or two times through. I may have to touch back for clarification at some point if that is all right. Again, wow. So. I did want to share this to give you an idea of how these readings can work. Um, this was not so much of a quantum reading. This was more of a mediumship with cards reading. This really did dig deep with cards, um, but she had some specific questions. And so I thought throwing some cards in there would be really nice. And it was also real nice that, uh, that her partner came through as well. So thank you for staying with me, for tuning in this long if you have. Um, if you liked this story, please like this video, share this video, thumbs up this video, um, leave a comment. I am loving your comments and I will make more videos if I get comments about how you like this. Um, I have several readings that I have saved. I save all of my readings so that I can go back to them or if a client has lost them, I can resend them. So I will be continuing to look through them. Um, I will publish these um, probably for a blog. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do a book. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I do still have my Spirit Stories book, which is back there. Um, I do intend on doing some of those as well, but I really wanted to dig into this right now. 
I am going to be having an appearance coming up soon on another YouTuber's channel. So stay tuned for that. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, we'll be talking a little bit about tarot, about quantum healing, um, and just about the state of the universe and um, how we're doing as light workers and people that are trying to evolve into the fifth dimensional states um, and to bring more light and love into this planet and into our reality. So to you, blessings in love and in light and peace. See you soon.